Change is not easy, but we all have a responsibility in order to make the planet safer and healthier, and we've got a lot of work to do as a, as a society. Rosenbauer has a purpose of supporting the mission of saving lives and protecting property and making the world a better place to live. Uh, we're a manufacturer of fire trucks. Uh, we're a global leader. We have fire trucks all over the world. We're the world's largest manufacturer of fire apparatus today. The fire pump, the nozzles, the hose, the clothes, the helmet is all built by Rosenbauer. The electric fire truck was a concept we had when we celebrated our 150 year anniversary. We introduced it at FDIC three years ago and realized that it was the future of the fire service. And really the future fire truck is all about technology, data, zero emissions, sustainability, ergonomics, safety, and really providing a product for firefighters uh, today, but also for the next decade. From cradle to, to wheel, if you would, not only does it have almost zero local emissions, but during the assembly process, the manufacturing of it, we use materials that are 100% recyclable at the end of the product's life. The uniqueness of the vehicle is um, a very, very low center of gravity, the adjustable suspension, and of course the electric drive. All of that combined with this open crew cabin concept, uh, which is designed, and all of that delivers a package which is extremely stable, extremely safe, and, and very efficient in its use. It feels like second nature to drive the vehicle, to use the vehicle. The technology is developing at a very rapid pace, especially the battery technology. If you follow that a little bit, you know that it's developing, almost doubling every, every two, three months. There's a huge increases in efficiency. So maybe two, three, four years down the line, we will have not a two-hour electric range, operating range, but a four-hour range. So we went ahead and said we want to improve the world. We want to make the world, at least in our area of expertise, a little bit better for the next generation, for our children, for our children's children, for the fire, fire crew and the first responders that are working now and will be working in the next five or ten years. When you start a project like this, which deviates so much from our standard product, um, you need first movers, you, know, you need partners that think with you and also think forward a little bit out of the box and are visionary in some sort of aspect. So we were lucky that Los Angeles Fire Department has that same mentality and we teamed up with them and are, it's not really a customer and, and supplier relationship, it's more of a development partnership. The firefighting world is a very traditional uh, environment all over the world. So to come with a very revolutionary vehicle, which is electrically driven, which has adjustable suspension and all of the other aspects, we thought that at first there would be a little bit more resistance to this innovation, but luckily it was just exactly the opposite. Uh, climate change is most evident in the city of Los Angeles uh, by the number of brush fires we have every brush season. Uh, the state of California last year in 2020 had a record-breaking number of fires as well as a record number of acres burned, 4 million acres total, which was double the previous record. And I was able to do a test drive here in, in uh, December of 2020. It's fast and, and it breaks fast. I was surprised at the ability to make quick turns. The weight ratio is, is done just right. So for those reasons, we, we jumped at the opportunity to purchase the first electric fire engine in North America. A lot of the smaller jurisdictions, the smaller fire departments, don't have the necessary resources to test and pilot things, and which I'm grateful to do. It helps firefighters across the country, and in fact across the world, to be safer and to provide a better level of service to the people that we serve. So uh, I believe the fire service will embrace this uh, once they see the success that we anticipate here in Los Angeles. We, we truly believe in the next couple of years we will be building these units in North America. We've already looked at a few sites, but the trend is going towards electric fire trucks.
We're very honored to be in this industry. We have uh, the absolute best customers um, that, that we deal with every single day because they're putting themselves first and foremost for our community. Um, what makes it just a great reward for us is that when we're supporting this mission and, and we, we get feedback from our customers um, and, and how our product performed and what they're able to do, it just it, it gives us a great feeling and honor to uh, be part of this industry. Rosenbauer believes in this process and the product and the revolutionary technology. And it's all about sustainability, ergonomics, and just a safer firefighting vehicle. Our mission is the saving of lives and, and saving property, and this dovetails with that mission. I think this is the first time in my lifetime where actually being in an industrial manufacturer is, is cool because technology is changing and now we have digital solutions, we have electric propulsion, and we're going to be looking at new future endeavors as far as what's the next propulsion and energy source with our vehicles. So, we're so excited about the future of Rosenbauer and what we're going to be able to do for our firefighters, but also what we're trying to do as far as society is concerned.